Hi, this is Tracy H. Dean. I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today we will be reviewing the Fortune Reading Cards by Sharina Starr, illustrations by Richard Crooks. And I just happened to come upon this deck of cards when I was on YouTube. I saw an interesting thumbnail of one of the cards, and that's what really drew me to watch the video and decide to purchase them. I just received these this weekend, and let me just open up the box and show you what's inside. First of all, it's a very well-made box, which I appreciate. This is very durable, and I won't have to worry about my cards getting uh, ruined. These are going to, this is going to protect the cards rather nicely. Inside, we have a really nice guidebook, a glossy finish. Okay, very well-made guidebook. And inside, it's going to be in color. How nice. <laughs> we have your table of contents. Okay. And tells all about the cards, how to read them. Uh, it's a, a deck of 36 cards, each of which holds a personal or spiritual message. It talks about a one card spread, three card spread. And I know I'm already going to use these cards to meditate upon. I'm going to probably draw a card of the day and focus on that. And this was the card that was actually in the thumbnail, the angel card. And I thought that was just so beautiful. Camera might not be picking up on the details of it, but it's gorgeous. It says, Angel, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. And it gives a nice description of what this card is about over here. It tells you uh, if you use this card for passion, to bring a new man in your life, to encourage a marriage proposal, to enhance your career. Or I'm going to just use the generic uh, meaning of it. You know, basically, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey, regardless of what you're looking to, to draw to you. You're being protected is what I get. And here, beware. Be careful of who you trust. And again, it'll talk about personal relationships with this card or if it's a question about career or money. Birth. Personal relationships again, career or money. So it will go through all of the 36 cards as you can see. And it's a nice sturdy guidebook. Okay, and tells about the author, Sharina. And then in the back, uh, these are other cards, uh, I guess, that are similar as well. I happen to have these astrology reading cards, and I would highly recommend them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and uh, those cards are by the same uh, artist. Uh, Richard Crooks, the astrology cards. Maybe that's why I like those and these so much. I'm going to have to look into getting these cards. They look very interesting. Okay, so cards are very large cards. I'm not a fan of large cards, but I'm going to be trimming them down. <laughs> Borders are going. Uh, I believe it's a distraction for me personally. It's a distraction from the artwork, so those are going to be gone. So that will reduce them considerably, and it won't really have any impact on the back because it's not going to run into any words or, or cut off anything that's going to look uh, not right. So let's look at the cards. They're first of all, they're pretty sturdy cards. They're glossy, okay. And as far as the shuffling capability, very easy to shuffle. And let's take a look at these gorgeous cards. Okay, so we have lovers. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. So it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to meet someone, but it's telling you that there are two paths ahead. Maybe there's going to be some type of a decision that's going to be coming your way. Luck. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. Marriage, you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Moon, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. How beautiful this is. Mountain, know that you are protected as you face challenges but remain cautious. Owl, there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Patience, slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. I'm not going to read all of them. You get the gist of it. Phoenix, plane. It's like it's going towards a tropical destination. It looks like an island. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And these are very gentle energy cards. Proposal, snake. Look at that. Star, absolutely beautiful. Sun, thorns. Unity. 
Very nice positive messages. Wish, world, angel, beware. Make a little chameleon there. Maybe somebody's pretending to be something they're not. Birth, celebration, chariot, coffin. And so I'm thinking here, chariot, I'm thinking of Tarot automatically. And coffin, I'm thinking of Lenormand. We have Cracker, Death, once again, I'm thinking Tarot. I don't know if that's what her intentions were, but it feels like it to me. Here we go again, Devil, again, Tarot, Dragonfly, Eagle, Fire. To me, that might remind me of the Tower in Tarot, Fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present, maybe an, an upheaval like the Tower crumbling down. Flowers, the fool. I, I'm starting to think that she did have the tarot in mind when she was doing this. Gold, judgment, key. Again, I'm thinking Lenormand. Lion, I'm thinking tarot. <laughs> and love, I'm, I'm thinking Lenormand. So very interesting. Maybe when I read that book, it might refer to something like that because that's what I'm getting, the feel of some of these cards. She could have intended to be like a mixture of different types of cards. I would highly recommend these for a beginner. Very simple, straightforward, easy to use. I'm going to use them for meditation. I'm also going to use these along with maybe my daily tarot. I'm going to pull, you know, one of the cards to give more of a an insight on what's going on for my day. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back with more.